A little bit of fluff on the bottom, and there's a couple of fish sitting on top. Look at the side of it! That's a big wide man. And how heavy is that one? That's 80. Uh, 50, 50 Sandwormy type thing. Uh, oh, it looks like when you've. Um, Let's start the video off with a, it's not a fish, it's a squid. So we're just uh, bait collecting and uh, Willie's got himself a nice, nice squid. Look at the size of this friggin' thing. Bring it here. Bring it here. So this is, um... oh, it's a boy. That's a nice one, Willie. Yes, he is. He's very spotty and beautiful. And what are we catching squid for? Um, for, um, for fun. It's a recreational pastime. We eat them um, and gain um, sustenance from their bodies. Well, we're actually catching it for bait, and that's um, that's a big one, and that's pretty much going to um, be our bait for the day. It so. is, yeah. Well, some of it. It's so big that we're actually only going to portion that off, and we'll <laughs> we'll section it out and then divide it up amongst the troops. All right, we'll get this in the tank. A couple of other ones, and you got one as well. Not bad, not bad. Look at that. It's not bad. Well, that's uh, going to be our, our King George whiting bait, right? Yes, so and wrasse and butterfish. We're, um, we're kind of on the King George game now, eh? Yeah, well, you get a bit of a bug for it, don't you? Kind of a bit addicted to it. It's good fun. So we're actually going to go, um, we caught our bait now. We're going to go worming, so bottom worming. So yes, yeah, bottom worm. We're going to bottom worm. We're going to pull one out of the loop and we're going to slip it down. Oh, God. And we're going to catch a dirty, big, spotty, slippery King George. <laughs> let's uh, let's go hope the King George riding are on the tube. <laughs> so this time around I'm using the micro meat. I've got, got a hundred gram one on it. Might be a little bit too heavy, but I just want to get down there. So this one has the twin hooks and nice bit of squid. Put that on perfectly. Look at that translucent bit of squid. Try and present the bait. Look at that. What King George Whiting is going to refuse that thing? Nothing. Perfectly baited. So let's see. <laughs> Check out this. So we're fishing a little bit deeper this time and there's this little bit of broken broken bottom every now and then. I'm not too sure. I'm not a KG whiting guru or anything, but um, a little bit of fluff on the bottom and there's a couple of fish sitting on top. So I'm not sure. Maybe that's that's what you look at. But Willie's got something there. Butterfish. A yakka. It's got a yakka. Is it a record? No. And I'm getting hit here. Spoon feather. I told you I was going to get one. Spoon feather. It's like a dirty big ham candle. Look at it. <laughs> it's like Andrew Taylor's ham candle. <laughs> no way, he's got more spots than that. Watch, watch that bottom one, mate. He's gonna... oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Get it in. Get it in. Nice. So he's got his on the meat. It's on the little small one. It's only a small kg, but that was on the micro. I said can not. I something was hitting it, and I wasn't sure if I had a fish or not. I thought it was a little butterfish, and um, look at that nice little kg. It's only small, but it's my first one for the morning. And we got another one coming up right now. Oh, oh. 
I'm sorry, man. I better wind it in for him. Quick, hold on, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> nice rod, Pete. Where'd you get it from? Tack West. Look how he just like holds it in. Oh, flathead! <laughs> yeah! Alright, there you go, Pete. I'm gonna swim it down out the back. <laughs> Actually, I got something. Spoon with, with those big weights, mate, sometimes they can't move the weight, so you got to move it. You know what I'm saying? We'll find out. Probably a buttery. What have we got? Oh, we got a King George. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so again, I was dicking around and I got a King George. <laughs> so there you go. Again, another small kg for me, but that one, that's on the worm, and that's just above. The micro, so yeah, but they seem to be on. They definitely seem to be on. Fresh squid. Uh, what have you got, Pete? Oh, I'm getting whacked. Oh, oh, and you wanted to move? Oh, no, I think I got a butterfish. That's what we came here for. It's um. Oh, big sandy, big sandy. Look at the size of that one, man. That's big. That's on the lightweight. Yep. He's actually, this thing, the these things are so damn good. He's actually got it on the wrong way round and it's still catching fish. That's how good it is. It's Look like, at that. It's like fishing uh, jigs backwards. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Have we got a KG? Oh, that's a nice one. Is it a good one? Yep. Oh, that's a monster! Oh, that's a small hook! Oh, that's a ripper! Look at that! Bloody hell! What do you reckon about the bottom worm? The first time using it. Get him in the boat! That's a killer. That's a really good one, mate. Kidney slapper. Give us a good look at it. Go and drop it over the side. Go and drop it over the side. Oh man. Go and drop it over the side. Oh no. Oh, yeah. the front row, I'll get a quick photo. Alright, they're in the gear. We'll always have to tangle with it. I don't even get the camera out for you. Oh, he's got a KG! Just as I, just as I said it! <laughs> you finally put one on the board. I certainly did. Is that even the size though? I mean, we've, we've got to check it. <laughs> and that's on the top hook. It certainly oh. is. Only it's a on little one. Bottom, mate. Yeah, that's on the worm. On the bottom worm. Oh, what have I got? Oh, that's good. Oh, he's on. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Nah, this is a skippy, I reckon. No way, it's a King George. It's fighting too hard. But I'll definitely take him, KG. Oh. God. Nah, it's got to be a skippy. It's got to be. Jack Cravel. It's a skippy, alright. It's a skippy. Woo! And he swallowed it. Look at that. That one's a that's a nice skippy man. Yum. These things are awesome sashimi. And he's swallowed that bottom worm. So. Yo! So if you watched our last whiting expedition, you probably learned a little bit about these. And the best thing about them is just how easily you can change over the hooks. So you've got the little assist on the back. It's a little bit, weather's calmed off. I don't need as much weight. So you can just simply untwist that. Boom. And I'm gonna go to a lighter weight. So I've got a hundred on now, but I'm gonna go to the 80. So we'll quickly change that what do you call it a fish catching sinker boom clip that one on 
and we put the assist twist that back on as well and I'm ready to go it's simple it's quick it's easy and hopefully I catch a King George I think that's a better weight and Willie's actually on up the front a few head shakes there Willie <laughs> that's the uh, the Rass or the KG look at that and a KG. So it's that simple. He's a spicy little and sod. And that's on the, the bottom worm on the hook above the sinker. Gristle gripping. And that's a gristle gripper. Right. You know how slippery a King Jordan is? Look at that. I just grip. Like, just gripping your gristle. Look at the weather, guys. Absolutely perfect out here. Maybe 42 degrees today. Hope everybody at work's having a great day. <laughs> what have you got? It's decent fish. What do you reckon? It's heavy, but it doesn't. Get, get the gas. <laughs> oh, I'm on. You got I'm on. Oh, I think we got the target species. I think we got the target species. Oh, target species. You and this was on the secret bait. Oh, a couple of hooks here. What is, what is that? Is that two? I, no idea. Okay. Two. I think it's two big King George on that. No way. What is that? No. Is it? No. Oh, we've got another hook up over here. What is that? Look at this. Oh, it is two fish. Oh, oh my oh, god! No way! <laughs> Look at that! Holy <laughs> hell! That's a monster! <laughs> <laughs> look at the size of this! And look at the size of that! Oh my god! Dude, what do you reckon about the bottom worm? I am absolutely sold on the bottom worm. It's the first time I've ever used any VEX product. It's it just That's huge! I mean, look at that thing. The evidence speaks oh, for itself. That's a kidney slapper. Here, I'll grab your rod. <laughs> that is just... <laughs> That's the biggest thing George I've ever seen. It's a new We've got another one over here as well. It's on. Oh, the target species. Look at that. They all look small now compared to that one, other one, and that's a, that's a good King George. Oh, you got man. a nice tangle there. Made man. a mess of it. Untangle it. Untangle and give us a look. So everyone was fishing with the heavier stuff, I'm using a lighter rod, got a 40 gram micro meat head on there, triple assist, just like a, a micro meat, a mini bottom meat, and it works an absolute treat. Oh, well, it's cool because you can fish with the lighter, lighter rod, right? So yep. And you can feel every touch. That's a nice, I mean, that's a nice KG. It's not a monster, but no. it's a nice, nice bloody KG. And did you know how much KG fillets are worth? Just ask my mum. <laughs> Oh my god, it's it's absolutely mayhem out here. Like it's just crazy. It's just whiting after whiting. Did you drop it? Yeah. Oh no. But this fishing, it's so accessible, it's so much fun. And you look at this. KG whiting. A couple sandies in there. <laughs> but it's just so much fun and it, it's relatively easy. Like we're not gun KG fishers at all. We've only been definitely haven't been a, a ridiculous amount of times, but um yeah, we've just kind of found the patch and that's what we're fishing. Yeah, it's 17, 18 meters of water. There's a little bit of fluff occasionally coming up on the bottom. And you know, there's these little, occasionally we get these little red lines. I've just zoomed in there so you can see, but we get these little red lines and whether that's KGs or not, who bloody knows. But when they come through, we kind of start catching them. So, don't know if that's anything to look out for, but you know seems to like, be working. Do you know what I like about these? Well, the hooks are the right size. That wait, 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 wait. we've got another one over here. He's 
machine fishing, everything. Oh, you're a little snapper. Oh, snap. Out of season. Oh, I'm on fire. Come on. Look at that. See, nothing Vex can't catch. <laughs> oh, oh, another one. Well trying to catch. Target species chick. So, as you would have seen before, for all the mayhem, I changed to the lighter weight. Oh, that's the 80 gram micro and a nice little kg. Every kg that we catch now is tiny compared to those other two because they were just monsters. But hey, I'll um, still take this thing. And that's sort of fresh bit of squid. So, phew. Oh, I think I got one. Oh, shit, that's abandoned, man. I think I got one. And I think I've got one. Oh, yeah! This is just nuts, honestly. How many King George have we caught? Probably over your limit. <laughs> you know it's good fishing when you've got to stop and actually catch them because you've caught so many. Another nice sized fish. Get that one in the box. Oh, 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 oh. The boy. Come out for kind of like a half a day and the weather's just absolutely perfect, isn't it, Willie? Look yeah, at that. it's beautiful. 43 degrees and we've just had a ball. Like We've caught so many King George Whiting. It's super easy, it's super fun. Like anybody can come out here and do this. Like that's Fremantle, okay? We're not far, you know, we've, we've got no special spots or nothing. We just come off Fremantle, we had a bit of a look and um, it's it's honestly this easy to go and catch King George. Fresh bait and vex bottom worms. What do you reckon? Yeah, bloody oath. Absolutely. We yeah. should probably do a cook up and show everybody how we're going to cook them, right? Okay. At so. your house. Yeah, right. With a heap of beers. Yeah, you just bring someone over to do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. there we go, guys. The vex bottom worm. It's coming first to tackle west very soon. <laughs> but um, subscribe to the channel. So we actually just went out for a bit of a jig session and um, caught a heap of amberjack and sambos and stuff But we figured we've got a bit of the afternoon left So we might as well uh, make the most of it and go back King George fishing. So um, Just rigging up again, and I've just got a, a vexed double header whiting rig. This thing's um, ready to go out of the packet It actually comes with a lumo sinker on it, but we're not going to use the sinker. We're going to use the vexed micro meat as the sinker. Now this is a 100 gram version and it's got the double hook. Pete's actually already on. He's literally just dropped one. Have a quick look at this. What do you got, it's Gugan? It's that easy. What do you got, Gugan? This might be the correct animal. What is it? Oh my King lord, George. quick get that in! No, no, okay. It's yeah, huge! Yeah. It's huge! Yeah, oh my lord! It's oh huge! Oh my god! Oh. Jesus, that is big. <laughs> What'd you get done? Show us. He hasn't even colour matched that. It looks like Luke when he goes out on a Saturday night. Unscripted scenario right there. Yeah. <laughs> Put a bit of spit on there. So, pick that straight up. Straight down. Pick that up. Look at that. That has got some girth. It's been a while since you got your hand around something that girthy. <laughs> Jesus, look at that. Day, <laughs> That's really good. All right, now back to our story. You, uh, what were you doing? Yeah, so pretty much. <laughs> If that's marketing, I don't know what is. Um, if that's not marketing, I don't know what is. But all right, I've got the rigs. So these rigs, they're all pre-done. And the best thing about these rigs as well, guys, is they're made on pretty heavy main line. So um, they do last. Whenever you um, crap out a hook, you can easily change it with one of the um, spare assists. But we clip the rig on quickly. And this is just a simple Pat Noster rig, okay? 
clipped it on, but we're not gonna use the sinker that comes with it. You can if you want to, but I want a fish catching sinker. So, micro meat, 100 grams. Clipper on, and away we go. I'm just gonna quickly bait this thing up. Ooh. Fresh squid, and we'll just thumb that on there. Thumb the other side in. I might put two smaller baits on the top. What's with that tube? Yeah, so this has the the worm on it. It's a soft, um, what would you call it? Like a sam worm, what do you call it? Stretch. Scented, stretchy worm. It's worm, that's what it is. We put our bait on. I like to put the bait like that. We do it on the top as well. And then I got my double. Pat and Oster, but then I also have my fish catching sinker. Now, let me just drop it over the side of the boat and let me just catch a whiting for you, okay? Scotty's on. Scotty's on. What do you got? Oh, oh yes, yeah, another one. It's not small, man. It's huge. Reef that in, reef it in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Swallow. that. That swallowed it, and that's why you don't need to use a pissy little hook, ladies and gentlemen. That thing has swallowed. Absolutely swallowed oh, it. Look at the girl. Sack tap me. What did it do? It's sack tap, dude. We'll sort that out, mate. Just give it a pull first and just see what happens. Um, Jesus. Alright, now what's happening over here? What are you doing? Why haven't you caught something? Here's the double header man over there. Yeah, that's right. Alright, and Snoodler is over here trying to. Uh, drifting. Waiting for my bike. Had a couple little taps. Yep. It's actually a perfect drift. This is the right amount of. Uh, Wind's come up a little bit, so yeah. we got a little. We're covering ground, right? Yep. So. Yank first, mate. A straight pull yank, and just see what happens. And hold him tight in the gills. No, nah, we're gonna have to go in in that way. Yeah. Otherwise, hey mate, just rip it off, and I'll twist on a new um, uh, bottom worm. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. So just rip it mate, bust that thing off and I'll, I'll twist you on a new bottom worm. That's what it's designed for mate. I can just twist that through. Oh no! I don't know if I got the target species, but... It's not bucking around much, but you never know. I think I got a shit fish. Wait long though. Might be okay. Have a look. I oh, think got two. Two or something. Huh? Yeah, I think there's two. I think that might be. Oh, come on. <laughs> no! No! That is a ham candle. Look yeah. at it. That's a ham candle if I've ever seen one. That's a ripper. So that one's on the... He, oh, he... I got him I got him twice now. <laughs> no, he got him twice. Uh, he just spat that. What is that? Is that a piece of... So look at that, guys. That's on the hook that was just above the sinker on the red worm. And that's a really nice King George whiting. That simple. Up. What did he spit? Oh, you, oh, you have a look. He actually spat up. That's this crab. is what they pump. So they oh, pump I... these sandwormy type things. Ah. What would you call it? A it, sandworm? It looks like when you've um, you've taken the claw out of a crab. Yeah, it? that's what it looks like. Jesus Christ. But there you go. Wow. I'm putting that on. No, I'm putting it on. Yeah, get lost. Right. All right. Well, there you go. All right. It's so that you, simple. So you took the rig out of the packet, you swapped over to a um, bottom worm or a micro meat, you baited it up, and in the whole time, you caught that whiting. Yeah, well, and Pete got one as and well on that whole time. extremely happy to see you. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> Leave it. Hey, Pete. That's not whiting. And what's happening up here, mate? Not a lot, unfortunately. That's all right, no. I reckon you're going to go. Oh, right. look, Pete's going to be back in. He's going to be back in before I've even touched the rod. Now, you a couple bites. Oh, look at that whack. Yeah. No way. Ah, double. No way. <laughs> How good's that? You reckon you got a whiting? I'd say so. What do you reckon? Mine's, oh no, mine's pretty heavy, eh? <laughs> you reckon? Is that one getting hit? What do you got, Willie? What's he got there? 
Oh, shit fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what you want. Oh, no way. Look at the size oh. of it, man. Yeah, bring it to me. Oh, shit, yeah. It's <laughs> a ham candle. That's a big whitey, <laughs> man. Look at the size of it. That is a rip. Look, someone's had a crack at you. Dude, that's a nice whitey. It's a nice one. That's, um. Shit, yeah. Yeah, not bad. I'll, I'll take that. I'll put it in the box. <laughs> yeah, go do it. Nah. Okay, snippy boat. Man, there's just so many of these fish out here to be caught. Good eating. Put him right in the box. Oh, oh trying to get away. Now he's jumping everywhere. Pretty today, that one, eh? I think we might have another one. I think. Pete's on. Decent fish for Pete. Here we go. Uh, I think it's a King George, mate. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. Cause oh. it is! Oh! Another one. It's just... Oh. Pete's got one as well. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's a ripper as well. It... Honestly, guys. These things are cheating. They're just that good. Like, look at the size of that thing. That is thick. Shit, give us a look at it. Man, that's a nice KG. We're going to get back down there. There's always been marks. Yep, there we go. Here's a bit more of the kind of things that we're finding on the sounder. And... We'll just, we, we don't really know. I don't know what this is, but. We don't really know, but that's what we were seeing on the sounder and that's when we started catching them. So, oh, flattered this time. That doesn't count. But they hang around with King George, but every time we see this type of activity, you can see that, that's when we start catching them. So, maybe do see them on the sounder, I guess. That's a big, big KG. Hold oh, on, let me get it. Holy shit. I'm gonna get a hook in the finger. Ah, oh, shit, I'm gonna get hooked. You grab that, I'll grab the KG. Oh, all right, you gotta. Oh. Look at that. When you can't even grab it, you know it's. Ah, oh, shit. You know it's a gay, a good King George. Look at the size of that thing. What do you reckon of the, Bloody good, the isn't system? It? it just works too well. It works too well. Alright, let's not get this thing It's just not fair. It's, it's just, just not, not fair. That's right. It's just not fair. No, not <laughs> you don't want to get, are ya? Got it? You want to just de hook him and I'll throw him in the tank? <laughs> oh, they just don't seem that good after the pirate one. After you catch about 30 of them, yeah. it's just, you know. I mean, like. Oh no, he's got another one. He's got another I mean, one. Oh, oh. God. On your, look. on your average day. Another King George. It's it's only about 40 centimetres. <laughs> something. I got him. It's so sad at Oh man. See that one see on there? Pinned on the circle hook at the top. Yeah, it is too, right? And um, how heavy is that weight? That's 80. Uh 60. 60 grammer. So Pete's only fishing with um just the 60 gram weight. But he's not fishing with a rig, he's just fishing straight just straight the micro meat. Yeah. You open that tank up, please. Oh look at that. Yeah, thanks. Well, I think that's pretty. We're going to wrap up the day again. Um, we had another quick, quick uh, fish on that that little whining spot on the way back, and it was um, it was going off again as soon as we we rocked up. And this, I guess, I'll just show you the end result. You know that 
is the end result of all the whiting from today. And then, I don't know, there's a stack in there. Some real good sized fish. I mean, look at the size of this one. Give us a look, Willie. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that. That's freaking huge, man. Size, there's man. some smaller ones in there, there's some sandies in there, it's but... Stock standard cove and sound fish. You know, that, that's a pretty good haul, right? Yeah, that's a good fish too. So... Yep. Anyway, guys, these will be available soon at tacklewest.com.au and I'll see you in the next video.